This video is about the story of a man named Jean Buridan and his massive ass. In reality though, Buridan's ass is a scenario named after Jean Buridan, which illustrates some of his ideas about moral determinism. Now this isn't actually the guy that we're talking about, but unfortunately it's the only Jean Buridan that I could find a picture for, so we're just gonna have to run with it. We'll skip the philosophical depth for today. Instead, we'll just go straight for the ass, which I'll call a donkey to save any misunderstanding. We've got this donkey. This donkey is really thirsty and he's also really hungry. But here's an important fact. The donkey's thirst and his hunger are completely identical in magnitude. Exactly the same. The dilemma begins. Now where the donkey is stood, he has some food, we're making this a vegan donkey, on one side, and he has some water. Actually, we're gonna make this a vegan ethically conscious donkey on the other side. But again, a caveat, the water and the food are both exactly the same distance away from the donkey. Clearly this donkey's master loved symmetry or just messing around with his own ass. Because the donkey can't decide which need to satisfy first, hunger on the one side or thirst on the other, he just stands paralyzed, flipping back and forth. Eventually, the little guy dies from a combination of dehydration and thirst. So I'm sorry for the sad story, but there is a point to this. I first heard this story on the Tim Ferriss podcast, being told by entrepreneur and just general wise guy, Derek Sivers, accompanied with this advice. You don't need to be a donkey. If you're anything like me, you'll know exactly how this donkey feels. There's so many topics and skills to learn and master and just nowhere near enough time to do so. And the clock keeps ticking. I really hate clocks, but we'll save that for another time. You try to section off bits of time for each endeavor, but by fracturing your time so heavily, you end up getting nowhere with any of them. Derek's of his point is this. You can drink the water quenching your thirst and then you can eat the food afterwards. And we know that we can do this because we're lucky enough to have been blessed with the ability of foresight. The repercussions of this are massive. He offers the following. Let's say you're 25. Conveniently, that's my age. And you have five main ideas of things that you want to do with your life. Uh, for me, it could be learning how to play a musical instrument, learning as many languages as possible, learning how to make videos well, um, learning how to entertain people, wanting to travel. The list goes on way longer than is probably healthy. But let's just say you've got five, say five skills that you want to master. Providing you live to around the average life expectancy, you could spend 10 years on each of these five things from the age of 25 and have them all mastered by the time you're 75. Picking one skill at a time would give you like a laser-like focus so that you can spend 10 years fully mastering each of these skills. For me, this advice is priceless. I've always been the donkey, like always, but I don't really have to be, and neither do you. Combine your curiosity with your focus. Drink now, eat later. As Derek Sivers provocatively concludes, use the future. That's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you to those that have stuck with me along the way and I promise you I'm gonna keep working hard to get better and better and better, just to keep improving my videos. There's gonna be ups and downs, there's gonna be times when I don't have the energy or the time to make the videos that I'd want to make, but I'm gonna keep pushing through that to get to the other side to create something of quality. I'm still a long way off from making the videos that I want to make, but I will get there, and when I do get there, I'm sure you'll like what I'll be making <laughs> kind of long distance promise. I really do appreciate every watch, every like, every subscription to my channel. So if you haven't already, like the video, hit the red button to subscribe. There's a bell next to it. If you hit the bell as well, then you get a notification every time I create a new video. That's helpful for you. If you want to watch all my videos, it's also helpful for me because it means that people who are subscribed don't miss out on what I'm creating. For now, that's gonna be it. Thanks again. See you next week.